Hello and welcome to the first ever Heart of America Athletic Conference Men's Golf Media Day. I'm Derek Johnson, uh, Sports Director at KLWN Radio in Lawrence, Kansas. And we've got the William Penn University Statesman Men's Golf Team here. Elise Warren, the head coach, joined with uh, one of her golfers with Austin Hafner. Uh, Elise, first things first here. This is year one for you on, on both ends of things with the women's and the men's. How do you juggle the two? How do you juggle having to coach both teams? Yeah, uh, it's a good question. It's uh, first time in school history that we've done this. We've previously had a coach for each. So this is the first time we've done it. And, uh, you know, it is a bit of a juggle, but luckily I have really good staff around me. My assistant coach, Brock, uh, some volunteer assistants who are really good about helping out uh, where we can, um, you know, like, for example, this last weekend, we took we took the men and the women uh, to Lawrence, Kansas, um, and we we used some student assistants as well. They help out with coaching. Um, so we find a way to get it done. Uh, luckily, they uh, they really enjoy each other. They get along very well, the men's and the women's team. So that makes it a lot easier. And uh, it's been really great so far. Austin, where are you originally from and, and what's your major at William Penn? Uh, so I'm actually originally from Oskaloosa, Iowa, where William Penn is, and I am currently majoring in sports management, and I'm a junior. So was it an easy decision for you to, to stick around home and, and play collegiate golf, or, or I guess what got you to this point? Uh, it, it was because uh, previously my dad was actually the head football coach here at William Penn, and so there's a rule like if you have a family member that works at William Penn, you don't have to pay any tuition or anything like that. So not having to pay for school was definitely, definitely the big side of me choosing William Penn. Yes. What got you into golf? How, how old were you? Um, I would say I was around 10 or 11. Uh, and there's just one day my dad, he went with his dad and they went golfing out at uh, the course here in Oskaloosa at Edmondson. And he asked me if I wanted to go. And I was like, you know, why not? I've never tried it before. And uh, ever since then, I've just been hooked on it. Coach, tell us about Austin's game and, and maybe some of the other players that we should keep an eye on here in 2023. Yeah, Austin's been uh, a staple in our program uh, this year. He's been uh, floating around that two, three spot uh, consistently. And uh, he, I believe in his game. He's uh, an incredible player, awesome ball striker. Although sometimes he doesn't believe it in himself a little bit. And we had a little bit of that conversation this week, which, you know, which is good. It's all about growing and, uh, and everything and, and getting better and developing. Um, but yeah, incredible ball striker, really good putter and um, just a good team player as well. He gets along with everyone. Everyone loves Austin. So um, he's awesome to have on the team. Really grateful for him. Uh, Spencer is our number one. He has been the clear number one. Uh, throughout the year he had a really great performance this weekend finishing second with 60 69 on the on the second day a really good performance um and he's been leading the way uh score wise and also with his leadership skills he's a fifth year so he's been around a little while and he's also from Oskaloosa like uh like Austin they went to school together so they know each other really well and then uh Cameron uh he's a transfer he's uh he actually came from the same school that Courtney did and uh, he's been he's been really solid for us as well. John Jarvis, um, also another transfer. And then Bailey uh, Johnston, who was a transfer from Minnesota, uh, from Bemidji State this year. And he's uh, he's really started to find his his game and had a, his best performance so far for the season this week. So, you know, we're really building this year and, um, you know, similar similar lineup to last year. But the scores have been improving every week. So I'm really glad about their progress and, and where they're at right now. I, I, I'm going to ask both of you guys this question. I'll start with Austin. Have you ever hit a hole in one? Uh, I unfortunately have not yet. No. And what about not. you, Elise? Um, I've had two, but I only really count one of them because the second one happened. Uh, I was just playing by myself at Harvest Point here in town and nobody saw it. So I, I definitely have one and I got that actually the first year that I started playing golf um, at my home course in Australia. Uh, Austin, tell me about Elise. What is she like as a head coach? Uh, yeah, uh, being her first year here, uh, it's definitely different, but as a, uh, at the beginning of the year, I went up and told her that I, we haven't really 
last year we didn't really get involved in like the scene around the campus and one of the things I told her was I really want to be more involved with the school and do more activities I guess you could say and she's been really good with that and as a coach um, this week I had a I had a bit of a mental breakdown uh, during one of my rounds and I I texted her and I was like hey can you come talk to me I need to get through this and um, she did that and I'm really grateful for that because if it wasn't for her I don't know if I could have finished that round and uh, thankfully she forced me to which was good and uh, yeah I'm just I'm grateful for her and what she's done with our program so far. Well, Austin, what was it like playing at the Preserve, um, which is where the 2023 Heart Golf Championship will be? Uh, well, luckily, we in high school, we actually played that course every year of my high school career. So I'm actually very familiar with it. And it's a it's it's not the easiest course, but if you know your way around it, it's not the hardest course, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, I mean. It is nice knowing or being familiar with the course. And um, this past semester, we had the conference preview there and the weather was definitely not the best, but um, we, for some reason, play well in weather like that. So not hoping, but hoping the weather is like that again, just for our sake. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a good course. Uh, I think it fits a lot of our games on the team and I'm just excited for what's to come. Uh, Austin, what's your favorite club in the bag? What's your go-to shot? Ooh, um, I would say the club that I'm most confident with right now is probably my eight iron from about 160 yards, no wind, and just a nice little high draw. That's probably my most confident club right now. Well, Elise, Austin, uh, we appreciate the time for both of you guys. Good luck uh, on the rest of the season here in 2023. Thank you very much.